Welcome back to my video series where I teach you how to fly an FPV, freestyle, racing, acro, drone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to teach you how to fly it. This video is one in a series. So if it feels like you've dropped in in the middle of a conversation, that's why there is a link in the video description below to the full playlist for the whole series. And if you're looking to learn from the beginning, that's where you should start. But if you're here for the topic of today's video, then Let's get into it. In this session, we are going to introduce one of the most iconic moves in all of freestyle FPV, the Maddie flip. Uh, and I need to tell you that the Maddie flip is named after Maddie. Maddie FPV was the guy who invented this trick. This is one of the few FPV tricks that can legitimately be linked back to a specific pilot who like definitely invented it. I'm not gonna say that this is the, like Maddie was the very first person to ever do this specific move, but like it's just very clear. Maddie released a video, he developed and, and sh demonstrated the Maddie flip, and then everybody started trying to do it, and basically everybody attributes it to him. Uh, and what a Maddie flip is, is this. You're gonna fly over an obstacle, like this bridge, and you're gonna pitch forward and then you're gonna fly backwards underneath the obstacle. So it's similar to a power loop, except instead of pitching back and going back over it, you're pitching forward and going forward. So it's almost kind of like a backwards or inverse power loop. And it's a very challenging move because it's blind. Like you can't see where you're going. You're going backwards, right? So the first step in being comfortable with a Matty flip is to start getting comfortable going backwards. So what I'd like you to do is I would like you to just line up on the street like this, and I would like you to pitch back and you should be able to sort of see the lights, see that you're in the center of the road, see yourself drifting backwards. I can still tell I'm in the center of the road. I can still see those light posts going by. I can still kind of judge my altitude and we're going to kind of just start to get comfortable going backwards. See, if I start from here, it's going to be tough because I can't see the road. So I'm going to kind of get right about here on the road where I can still see that I'm lined up on the center of the road. I'm going to pitch back and I'm going to just fly backwards for a little while and start to get a little bit comfortable managing my altitude when I can't see the horizon quite as well. Like if you pitch back to the point where you can't see the horizon at all, then altitude management is very hard. But I can still tell that I'm below the light posts, can I? Oh my God, and I've flown through that tunnel. Wasn't that impressive? So just start with that just a little bit and start to get a little comfortable with that kind of going backwards that's gonna be used to end the move. The next thing I'd like you to do is I want you to fly over the top of the bridge and I want you to pitch back and slow down. Actually, this is terrible. This is terrible. Do you see that I like I have no visual reference for freaking anything right now? This is like, it can be done, but this is not how I would encourage you to learn a Matty flip. Instead, we're gonna go the other direction so we can see the buildings and have visual references. So we're gonna approach from this side. We're gonna fly over the bridge. Then we're going to pitch back and slow down and drop and we're gonna go back under the bridge. Now, how do you know how far to drop? You don't have a great visual reference. Like, if I was to fly up to this building, right, and, and say I was gonna drop, I know exactly how many floors I've fallen because I can just see. But as I come here to do uh, this exercise, I really don't. I just have to kind of feel it. Like, I can kind of see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, I can see the building. I could kind of have a sense of how high I am, so that's something. But a lot of it is just feel. So I pitch back, I drop, and I have a raise throttle to go back under the bridge. Okay. Fly over the bridge, pitch back to stop, drop, and then av after I've dropped basically just enough to clear the bridge, but not so much that I hit the ground. There's a huge gap here that I have to get back through, right? So I just wanna drop enough that I'm pretty sure I've cleared the bridge. Pitch back, drop, and raise throttle and back through. And as soon as you start coming back through the bridge, 
Now, you have a visual reference for your altitude, don't you? I can see the buildings on my left and right. I can see the bridge. See, now I'm close to the bridge. Now I'm further away from the bridge. As soon as you start to drift back and that bridge comes into view, you have a visual reference for your altitude and you can adjust your altitude. So I want you to start doing that and try to get precise on your altitude. Like you're probably not gonna be able to drop and like, oh, I know exactly where my altitude is, right? But as soon as you see like this floor start to come into view or wherever it is, wherever you are, as soon as you see that, make some adjustments on your throttle so that you can maintain and hold that altitude and not hit the ground. Because what people will do is they will drop and then they'll kind of be going back through, but they'll kind of also be about to hit the ground. That's what you don't want to do. So work on that for a little bit. The next thing to work on is the front flip. And what I want you to do first is I just want you to fly over the bridge and do a front flip and then come out of the front flip. Okay, we'll go over the bridge. We will do a front flip. We'll finish the front flip and then we'll drop and we'll go back through. So we're gonna make that front flip and the drop and go back through separate things. Fly over the bridge, front flip, drop, and go back through. And what you're gonna to work towards is not finishing that front flip flat and level, right? But finishing that front flip pitched back a little bit so that you're already ready to start going backwards. So I'm gonna fly over the top, and at first I'm just gonna finish that front flip flat and level, and then I'm gonna pitch back, and I'm gonna go backwards. But I want you to work towards fly over the top, finish that front flip already pitched back, and then adjust throttle to descend and come back through. I did not descend enough. Went back over the top. Bad example. There we go. Just find that angle. Find that pitch angle where you're going back through. Okay, and adjust if you need to adjust. Send and back through. And once you start getting solid at that, and you really do want to be solid at that, uh, the next thing to do is to try to actually put the flip together and make it like a proper Matty flip. And the proper Matty flip is that you start the, the flip forward, like right about here in the move, okay? So instead of just flying over the top and doing a flip and then descending and coming back through, what we want to do is we want to kind of make a circle over the top, okay? So we're going to start pitching forward, like right about here, and we're going to do it gradually. We're not going to do a flip. We're going to gradually pitch forward. And we're going to try and keep that bridge in view the whole time we're doing the matty. So, See, the bridge went out of view. We flew over the top of it. That's not right. We're going to pitch forward to kind of keep it in view. And your first ones may look something like that, where you just end up into the ground. And that's okay. I want you to work on keeping that bridge in view as you pass over the top of it. See, I over-rotated there, right? I didn't keep the bridge in view. Okay, kept the bridge in view. But eventually, you're gonna to wanna to actually do the Matty flip and not just flip over and crash into the ground. And so you're gonna to need to manipulate your throttle. And this is the sort of hardest part of the Matty flip. Um, as I come over the top, I'm gonna to turn inverted and I'm gonna to need to be off the throttle for the inverted part. And then as I come to about here, I'm gonna get back on the throttle to pull me backwards through the move. So watch my throttle as I go through this. So I was low there. I could tell I was about to hit the ground and I jumped on the throttle to try and catch myself. That was better. That was pretty good. Um, a lot of times when you do a Matty flip, 
you will not actually keep the obstacle in view the whole time. So when we were starting, I said keep it in view. Um, a lot of times if you keep it in view, you end up swinging wide and you end up going into the ground. What you'll see a lot of people do is they will, they will rotate. And now here you see I've kind of over rotated and it's no longer in view and I'm just kind of pitching backwards. So it's not quite just like a flip. I'm not just flying over it and doing a flip and now I'm backwards and I'm flying backwards. I'm making it a little bit of an arc over the top. But then I get on the throttle and I come back through. And that's a Matty flip. You can, uh, you can make it a little more impressive by starting low. So we can start low and we can come up and over like so. And uh, as you get better and better, you can work on tightening it up. Ah, oh, the timing on the throttle is so hard. Because like a really good Matty flip, I would stay close to the obstacle as I come around the bottom. But I kind of want to keep it in view. But in order to keep it in view, I have to pitch back like this. And that means I'm like a falling. And it's really hard to get the timing on the throttle exactly right to make it exactly how I want it to be. That was a pretty good one. Well, a lot to work on. Like my Matty Flip is not my strongest move. Uh, I want you to finish out today by just working on Matty Flips over this bridge, around this bridge. Uh, this is a relatively forgiving and easy, dare I say, way to do a Matty Flip. Uh, and you just gotta work on the timing of the pitch and the throttle to get it. Ugh, that's what I always do, is I don't get on the throttle enough. You gotta just work on that. Um, if you want to mix it up a little bit, what you can do is you can do a power loop into Matty Flip. Into Power Loop. <laughs> Whee! Into, I have to arrest it and come back up over the top, Matty Flip. Matty flip. Oh no, I'm off center. I'm off center. I'm gonna make it work. I made it work. Yay. And I'm gonna leave you with that, and I'll see you in the next one.